Hey everybody, welcome to uh, GDPG, and today up, guys? we are playing Chroma Squad. Yeah, woo! So for all you Power Rangers fans out there, this is essentially a tongue-in-cheek uh, homage to the game, I homage to the game, I mean... Inspiration? Yeah. Game inspired by the Power Rangers? Yes, exactly, and Behold Studios <laughs> uh, developed the game, so go with them. Go, go, Behold Studios. They didn't have, like, a Kickstarter or anything for this, Not did that they? I know of. Um, I, I didn't hear anything about yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't really hear anything. I feel like I would have backed it if I'd known. I know, right? I mean, a Power Rangers tactics game, heck yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we're also using this fancy Steam controller, so if I don't know all the controls yet, that's why. That's why. Because I'm using no. a, a scheme that somebody put online. So you can choose what you want to do. Um, I think interesting is going to be fine. Yeah, interesting is is what I generally do yes. with games. There are no voiceovers, like, so once upon a time, a TV studio just like any other. Nice green screen. Yeah, right? <laughs> Super Rangers, it's time for all stuntmen to get in the scene. Okay, hurry up. Oh shit, dude. Yep. We look like Power Rangers in hazmat suits. Oh yeah. It's perfect. And wow, the minions! <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, really? How did he just appear there? I know, right? He's a stuntman. <laughs> I guess it could be a trapdoor. There we go, all set for this part. Effects will be will come later. I guess we're lacking some story, huh? <laughs> yeah, but Dr. Soup doesn't enjoy it that much. This is getting really boring. I'm kind of tired of... Stop talking where, while we're recording. Battle them, or should I remind you? That you may <laughs> click to either walk or choose the monsters you want to attack. They don't know they're in a game. <laughs> oh, wait, yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So now, um, starting off early here, one of the interesting things about this game is there's not really a a set turn order. It's like everyone on your team gets to take their turn first, and then everyone on their team gets to take their turn. Okay, I, yeah, I was just about to ask if there was initi an, so an initiative there system. There is between the player characters, like, the Yellow Ranger's usually the fastest hmm. of them. Okay, that makes um, sense. And that hasn't changed. When I played, it didn't change. So if I don't use her, say I use this guy, right? Maybe he's the slowest for whatever reason. Yeah. Does does it still work off of her initiative or does yep. it... So basically what I do is if he goes first, he can go do his attack and then yellow will start. Really? Yeah, it's super... This is, initiative is very strange. It sounds like... I could be misunderstanding, but it sounds like you could break the game. Ah, uh, yeah! Or at least the initiative by doing that. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll experiment yeah, with that and yeah, we'll, we'll kind of figure see. that out. Uh, uh, yeah. has played this game. Yeah, I have I've not, played it. So. It. It's really enjoyable. Um, we're probably not going to get to play the whole thing unless you guys really want to see it all. Well, yeah, we'll absolutely um, play the entire thing if uh, yeah. you guys request it. But, oh, yeah. uh, you know what I love about these putties? They kind of look like machokes. <gasps> oh, dude. They or or actually, they look more like machops. They look more like, well, no, machoke. Was Machoke the four-armed guy? Or no, the... Machoke is the, the middle evolution. Then Machop the, is the, the, the little, little baby. Guy, yeah, little... no, they look like Machokes. Yeah, I agree. They, they look like the secondary form. Um, that's what I thought when I first started playing this. Like, why are we fighting Pokemon yeah, in this right? game? Oh, so do we do we have two actions each? You, in theory, have two actions. You can get closer, but you can't attack. Oh, okay, that's cool. Can you attack twice if you don't move? No. Okay, that's. I think that's actually pretty important. That's one thing yes. that uh, I think is always the question whenever now, I work on a, I a tactical game. I don't know if the pink ranger has a long range weapon to begin with. No, she does not. Oh, okay, so she gets one. Well, because they kind of do it like old school Power Rangers, where it's like... Did the pink ranger always have... Uh, uh, in the original Power Ranger, she had a bow and arrow. Did she? Um, She didn't... Well, not really a I bow and arrow. It was kinda... more like a bow set. It was more like a laser bow thing. Well, I knew they all kind of had, like, some kind of ranged weapon at one point. Well, they all had the blasters. Right, right, um, exactly. And then they each had, like, their special weapon. Like, the Red Ranger had the sword, the Black Ranger had the axe, the Blue Ranger had la uh, the lance or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, two little lances. I don't know what the name for those are. One has too many trident things. Uh, right. I'm, I'm not. And then the Yellow Ranger would have the daggers. Okay. Although yeah, that's, that's what I remember. 
Although I think for the Blue Ranger, it's a gun in this one, so both of them are like the, um... No, um, before we go anywhere, I love the director's instructions, because it's basically, like, how you get more fans when you get a little farther in the game. So it's kind oh. of a fun way to give you the, um, objectives. I feel like it's a very thematic way to do it. So, the director's instructions aren't just here for tutorial purposes. No, they will be here throughout the whole game, because the whole idea is you're on a television show, right? It's about making the yeah. best episode possible. <laughs> and so it, get, it, it becomes a lot of fun. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah. This is one of the best episodes I have seen so far in this season. <laughs> we haven't done that much, guy. Psst. He always says that as long as we are defeating the monsters really easily. <laughs> I heard you. Does that mean that the monsters can win <laughs> in this scripted <laughs> yeah, TV right. show? In this scripted environment. <laughs> now I want some acrobatics. We can either add some explosions, we can add some explosions to them later. Hence the green screen. What kind of? Let me finish talking. <laughs> oh my God. Jeez. You should use the teamwork maneuver ah, to yes. toss people around so they can move further. I really like the teamwork maneuver. Yeah, I was curious about that. If you still don't get a word I said, use teamwork and then click on those yellow cells. Okay, good in position. I just love how like, yeah, okay, we're ready. I just love how like, unabashedly, they're just like, this is a video game. <laughs> so if you really don't understand what we're talking about in our thematic, talk well, here's what you have to do it's a good way to to integrate um the tutorial text into the yes. actual setting so you see at 750 that's up there yes that is like so 2500 that's like the fan points essentially oh, like that's okay. that, that, that's like your skill that's like saying hey this is how much you've completed and if you don't do this you might not get the best episode uh grade so i can't actually reach any of these guys with so this teamwork see those thing. yellow tiles yes so go ahead and just use one of the yellow tiles and that's how teamwork works they boost you, and now you are close enough to deal some damage. That's cool. So how do I know who I'm working with? So here's oh, the, can, so okay, I activated so it someone with someone activates teamwork. Oh, that's so cool. And then I can just choose someone else, right? Like yep, exactly. Now what happens though? Once you've activated teamwork, mm. they can no longer move or do any actions. They okay. have chose to be a teamwork specific thing. Now it gets even better when you get into team attacks. Um. That's and super that's cool. a lot of fun. I actually really like that. That's yeah. not something that I see get used often. Oh, I can use the same character. Yep, exactly. exactly. The, so, so as long as for the whole round, they are teamwork usable. That's awesome. Can I yes. attack diagonally? <gasps> yep, you can attack diagonally. Yep. Oh, so I don't know if you've... Well, I, I guess it kind of does. But So normally diagonals in tactical games are like a huge no-no. Yeah. Um, because they easily break things. Um, and it doesn't seem like it costs anything extra to use diagonal attacks. Or am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. Diagonals definitely work because see how, like, the Black Ranger is right now? All four of those corners you can stand at and attack him from. Right. Okay, that's interesting. I've had a six-person attack before. Jeez. Yeah. Well, we're just going to ruin your day. Oh, it's nice that it, I can move and attack with one action. Yeah, exactly. I think they're just trying to keep it as fluid as possible. Cut! Another perfect scene. I'll be glad I'm here to tell you what to do all the time. Oh, boy. What kind of pose is that? It's the Power Rangers pose. I don't know. Now show the audience some more teamwork. Yeah! Yeah! Teamwork! Teamwork! Power of friendship! You know how it works. Attack a minion when someone is using teamwork next to it. What was that text? Down there? Oh, you can fast forward through scenes. Oh. It's actually kind of fun, when, especially if you ever have a hard fight and you don't want to. <laughs> I trust yes. you guys won't hurt me. <laughs> All right, perform a team attack with two squad Dude, members. Dude, team attack's really cool. Okay, so do I just move? So like... basically move into, move into position and then hold the press the teamwork button. And then, so it now goes, uh -huh. see how you hit one of them, see how her, her fist is going up in the air? Oh, they team tag. nice. Yeah. Uh, now watch out something really fun. I don't know if you'll get the points for it, though, so maybe not. Should I move him here? Okay, mm -hmm. well, tell me what to do. So go move him over there. Okay. And then hit teamwork. Okay. And I want to try, see if this will work. Um, see how he, yeah, he, he can be flipped over to the yellow edge? Over yes. the yellow edge, yep. That won't consume his teamwork thing. Though. No, that will not consume his teamwork okay. thing. Okay. 
Now you should be able to still hit teamwork with him funny enough. So do that. Nice. Yep. And then go ahead and attack. Nice. And you're going to do a three prog attack. Oh, brutal. Yep. It's really cool to do a full team attack. And we'll, we'll probably make sure to cover that. Great job. Keep it like that. I'm loving this. Move now so that the boss can teleport into the set. Oh shit, a boss. Yep. Where's the big girl in the monster suit? Oh, nice. This is how you are going to do this. Uh, remember your training. Put four of you adjacent to the monster in teamwork. Oh, okay, so it's basically telling me what we just... What you yep, just taught me. What I just taught you, and this is doing a finishing move. Gotcha. Why is he saying all these things again? We've done this so many times already. <laughs> We're professionals. He just likes telling people what to do, I guess. At some point, you'll have to take a couple of these guys. The monster will blow up when you do the finishing move. I need the five of you to do it together. Oh, sweet. One new item in my inventory. <laughs> Should we fight the monster before the finishing move? That feels rushed. Our audience won't enjoy it. I never want to hear you say, I want it that way. Uh, did you see what that was? <laughs> what? And that's kind of like, I think that's how it was. And sinker, I want it that way. Or is that Backstreet Boys? I don't know, my 90s. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah, do. they do a lot of that. <laughs> they do a lot of that. I mean, you know, it's appropriate to like. No, it's a lot of fun. Make no. fun of the 90s. Believe me, I was laughing so hard during a lot of this game just because of the references. So if I'm here with the teamwork, will it? Still, will he still attack? Well, I would if he, suggest if I'm dying, I would or should suggest, I just go on the four yeah, corners? Yeah, go on the front. That's fine. Because there's a lot of room to play with this. Um, That's fair. And then do teamwork again, and then you can literally just yeah fly with the attack. Ah, yeah, chroma power. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. So. Oh, beautiful. Chroma, chroma fusion. fusion. Right? Dude, it's just so much fun. <laughs> you are so strong! <laughs> Explended. Now for the grand finale, the huge monster explosion. No! <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous, and not even a giant robot fight. Ah, oh, super lame. Hey! The actors just sit in their chairs. We stum and do most of the recording. And besides, this is so silly. We always record in the studio. We should go outside, see different places. Come on, people. Our show's not that bad. I'm listening. Why can't we run our own, very own studio? Oh, man. Oh, my. That's just the perfect idea. Count me in. What? Are you, are you leaving, Super Rangers? I'm in, too. Let's do this. <laughs> nice, like, one arm hands. Yeah, oh, yeah, he loves doing it. <laughs> Have fun leading the stew that isn't fun to work at, Dr. Soap. Oops. Bye. Oh, and please stop being so mean to your employees. <laughs> you can't. <sighs> I guess you can. Well, goodbye then. We're going to go to film those more anime. <laughs> the least. Leave the suits at the door. We paid good money for that. Going indie. Nice. Yep. Um, mm, the stuntmen met a moment later, still dressed in their oh. old studio spandex suits. Narration. Interesting. They talked about what, how they could start their own studio and record for their first episode. Okay. Well, should we save this for the next episode? Yes, let's save this for the next episode because there's a lot to do in the next episode. Yeah. A lot. Megazord. So, question of the day. Question of the day. Um, we could ask about how they integrated kind of like the setting into the tutorial. tutorial. Yeah. You think that's interesting? I think it's a very interesting thing. So, okay. Mm, I suppose the question is then, obviously they integrated the the, the setting with the tutorial. Um, what do you think are some of the benefits and flaws to that? I think that's a good point. I think uh, there are arguments to be made on both sides. So. Yeah. And guys, just remember to vote. Yeah. You see Chroma Squad being played more, or one of the other games you'll see kind of rotating around us somewhere. I'm just going to point all over the place. Pretty sure they'll be in this yeah. direction. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, definitely vote what you want to see, and then we will. We hope to see you in the comment section. Heck yeah. Bye, everybody. Thanks see for watching. You guys.